Hello everyone, in this video we are just going to discuss about the various data types available in C and what are data types in C. Let's get started. So in our previous video we learnt what are variables in C and why they are used in C language and also we learnt what are all the characteristics that defines the variables or what are all the characteristics that we want to keep in mind while defining and declaring a variable and those characteristics are nothing but the type of data that you want to store whether it is an integer or real number and the size of data that you want to store inside the variable that is whether 1 byte, 2 byte, 4 bytes or 8 bytes of data that you want to hold in this variable. So you just want to keep in mind these two things before defining and declaring a variable in C language and we are having default data types available in C language which helps us to define and declare variables based on that data type which will be having a default type and size itself and each data type available in C language will be having a type and also it will be holding a particular size. So if you opt to a particular data type and define and declare a variable based on that data type in C language that itself defines the type of data that you are storing and also the size of data that you are going to store at the max in that variable. So based on the data type we will be declaring and defining a variable and by default we are having several data types available in C language and we will be defining and declaring variables based on the data types for a particular type and size of data to be stored in that variable. So the integer data types available in C are char, int, long and long long. And these data types are also assigned to be unsigned char, unsigned int, unsigned long and unsigned long long. So these unsigned types are nothing but the negative range in these data types are neglected in this unsigned types of data types. And without the unsigned, these data types char, int, long, long, long is also called as signed data types. And these signed data types will be including the negative range of data within itself. But if you leave the data types without the signed sign, it means the same. So you can whether give the signed sign before the data type or you can neglect the signed sign. But if you want the unsigned version of the data type, you just want to provide the unsigned type qualifier before the data type that you are declaring. And the real number data types available in C language are nothing but float and double. So these two are the data types available by default for storing the real numbers in C language. So if you want to play with real numbers that is with the decimal numbers you just want to declare and define variables based on these two data types that is float and double and if you want to play around with integer values you can declare and define variables based on these four data types that is char int long and long long and you can choose between signed or unsigned type that you want that is if you don't want the negative numbers to be in your range you can declare the data type to be unsigned and if you want the negative part of the value you can just leave it to be signed data type and regarding the data type sizes let me just show you a particular x8 compiler data type sizes table so this x8 compiler is a mid-range microcontroller based compiler so here you can see the list of data types available in that compiler and the sizes of the data types available so char, signed char, unsigned char is holding 8 bits that is a byte of data. You can clearly see char is holding values between minus 128 to 127. We will discuss why it is between 128 to 127 later while discussing about char data type in detail. For now understand that when I declare the data type to be char or signed char we are having the negative value. But you can clearly see when I declare the 
unsigned car data type we are having holding the value between 0 to 255 that is negative part is neglected in this unsigned part so this is why we are using unsigned care instead of care and if you want to involve negative numbers you just want to declare it to be care or signed care and sort signed sort and unsigned sort is holding the size of 16 bits or 2 bytes and signed int and unsigned int is also holding the 2 bytes of sizes and signed long unsigned long and long is holding the length of 32 bits that is 4 bytes in this compiler so c language will not be fixing the data type sizes instead the compiler does it that is for this x8 compiler we are having the particular sizes of the data types to be so and so but for another compiler we will be having a different sizes of data type that is most often int data type will be varying from 2 bytes to 4 bytes that is in a particular compiler we will be having the size of int to be 2 bytes but in another compiler we will be having the same int data type to be 4 bytes but most often the char sort long long will be of 1 byte 2 bytes and 8 bytes at the max so this will not vary most often compiler to compiler these data type that is the char will be holding only one byte sort will be holding only two bytes and long long will be holding only eight bytes but other data types will be varying based on the compiler that you are working on so make sure to refer the user manual of the compiler that you are working on for exact sizes of data types used in your program and i hope you understood what is data type which is useful for declaring and defining a variables and what are all the different data types available in C language and how the sizes of data types vary based on the compiler. In the next video, we will try to learn more about all these individual data types available in C language, their sizes and their characteristics. See you in the next video. Thanks for watching.